the Aspen High Seas has three kinds of liquid volume flow in the process simulation. One of them is the standard ideal liquid volume flow, and you can see here that the information calculated is 1.002. The Aspen High Seas has also liquid volume flow at standard conditions, cubic meter per hour, also the same unit of measurement, but the calculation performed 1.001. And we have also, if you go to properties, you will see that you have the actual volume flow that in this case is the actual liquid volume flow that is calculated as 1.033. And no one of them are the same, although all of them are talking about volume flow. To understand what is happening, let's return it to the composition basis. Every time that you define a stream as liquid volume flow, the Aspen High Seas will perform a calculation based on the mass density of the components. But the mass density of the components is a function of pressure and temperature, so the Aspen High Seas needs to have a reference to perform this calculation. So in the composition basis, the definition of pressure and temperature for the calculation is 60 Fahrenheit and 1 atm if you are using the field units or 60 Celsius degree and 1 atm if you are using the national system of units. With that, the Aspen High Seas will get the information of the liquid volume flow and will do, perform the calculation for the mass flow of the component. As Aspen High Seas has three different kinds of liquid volume flow, you must understand how the software performs the calculations of each mass density. So in this case, when we are talking about standard ideal liquid mass density, the Aspen High Seas will do calculations based on 60 Fahrenheit, but depends, depends on if the component is a liquid at, at 60 Fahrenheit and 1 atm, the Aspen High Seas will use a data. If the component can be liquefied at 60 Fahrenheit, but uh, in a pressure above 1 atm, they will use the saturation pressure, so it will be another reference for mass density. And if the conditions do not apply to case 1 and case 3, the Aspen High Seas will use information from GPA. And that can lead to very different results when you are performing your process simulation. When we are talking about liquid mass density at standard conditions, in this case, the Aspen High Seas will use as reference the volumetric flow at 60 Fahrenheit and 1 atm. And when we are evaluating the results for the actual liquid volume flow, the Aspen High Seas will perform the actual liquid density based on the process conditions or operating conditions of pressure and temperature. 